Hey everyone, I hope you enjoy the content. If you're new to the channel, if you like the videos, please hit subscribe and let's get into this. So this weekend we have David Price versus Derek Chisor. Okay, now these are going to be my keys to victory for both guys. Going to give a little bit of a breakdown and I'm going to give my prediction on this fight. Okay, now I haven't seen the odds on this fight, the betting odds that is. So I would imagine Derek Chisor is going in as favourite. Probably rightly so. You know, he's known about this date a lot longer. David Price, although he was scheduled to be fighting in Liverpool sometime in November, this fight obviously come around a lot quicker, so he might not be necessarily in the best preparation. Having said that, David Price never struck me as someone who balloons up in weight in between fights. He tends to be, you know, normally disciplined enough, so I can't imagine he's going to be too badly out of shape, but probably this fight's coming in a lot quicker than he would have expected. As I said, I haven't seen the odds, but if I was a gambler man, and I think Bet365, give tend to give good odds on boxing they'd probably be the go-to website for boxing bets i wouldn't rule out sticking a couple of quid on Dave price to maybe spring the upset in this fight now i'm going to talk the keys to victory on both ends if you're david price the keys to victory should be pretty simple you're a six foot a heavyweight versus a six foot one six foot two heavyweight j a b the jab that's what david price needs he needs to have a hard thundering jab if you see him against somebody like a cash ali or even against sakalowski when he fought sakalowski he was jabbing but there was no real power on the jab you know he would paw with it a bit if you're a pressure fighter and you've not got a ramrod jab coming at you it really does kind of make you almost want almost go throw hell for letter and just go on to him go in at him if you're a pressure fighter anyway Derek chisora would be more of a pressure fighter especially now war chisora he does like coming in and throwing the kitchen sink at people. So David Price needs to obviously establish his jab. He needs to go and watch what Kubrat Pulev did. Now when Kubrat Pulev fought Derek Chisor, it was a pretty boring fight, it has to be said. Kubrat Pulev held a lot in that fight, but he was allowed to. I would imagine the referees in the UK, they may not be as easy going on David Price if he does that, but I'd imagine they'd let him do some holding. So strong jab. And if Derek Chisor gets in, use that size advantage you have, that natural size advantage, to your advantage. Hold the guy. Don't let him get shots off. So that's one thing David Price needs to do. He needs to let his hands go. I know if he lets his hands go, he runs the risk of getting caught. But at this stage in David Price's career, he really, it's last chance saloon. If you're going to get knocked out, you're going to get knocked out. You may as well go out fighting. So I would imagine he's going to want to let his hands go because, in my opinion, Derek Chisor, or Derek, David Price definitely has the power to hurt stop and drop Derek Chisora I would imagine in terms of sheer brute force punch power he would probably hit harder than Dillian White seriously Dillian White may hit harder with the left hook but I think just in pound for pound I would imagine Derek David Price is a harder puncher so those are kind of some of the things David Price needs to do he doesn't want to let Chisora get too settled in this fight and to kind of almost feel too comfy in it and one thing that kind of makes me worry is that these guys are already friends sometimes when you have that i'm sure they've sparred sometimes when you have that mentality it kind of does maybe not bring out the tough side in you maybe david price needs to have that little bit more spite when he's fighting someone like jazora and just rise to that occasion okay so that's my kind of thoughts on david price for Derek jazora he's going to want to be on david price like quite the bread he's just going to want to go and stick it on david price because when you see people who've done that, when you make them feel uncomfy, he tends to capitulate fairly quickly. You know, the stamina is one thing that's been an issue with David Price. But the stamina as well, when you have a fighter who's constantly trying to swarm on top of you, who is relentless, who's making you work, someone is hit with his size, his dimensions, it's going to knacker you. You know, you saw how uncomfy he was against Cash Ali. You saw the job that, you know, Christian Hammer did on him. So someone like that who's going to do that is going to cause David Price problems. Do I think Chisora has the power to hurt David Price? Yes, I do. I think Chisora is hitting a lot harder nowadays. He's punching a lot more correctly. When I say he's hitting a lot harder, I think the power was always there, but his technique wasn't. So with Derek Chisora, the power was there, but he wasn't landing it properly. He was kind of slapping you a bit. Whereas now he's connecting with that knuckle part of the glove and he, you see the results. He's getting people out of there a lot quicker. The Senna Gashi fight, you could see his puncher was better in that fight. He just had somebody there who was so goddamn negative. So he couldn't do it. So Chisora's going to want to do that. He's really going to want to try and stick it on David Price. He's been saying that he has a soft spot for David Price. But when it's in the ring, it's, there's no love lost. 
You know, he's going to be going for it. That's what Jazora needs to do. He needs to try and make Pricey as uncomfortable as he can and take him into deep water and try and drown them. All right? Dave Price looked good against Dave Allen. Chisora is way more advanced than Dave Allen. He's way more skilled. He moves his head a lot better than Dave Allen. Just in every way, he's a superior fighter to Dave Allen. So the success that Price had against Dave Allen, he's not going to have it against Chisora to that extent anyway. He may have some, but he's not going to have it all his own way. Not in the least. So those are kind of my keys to victory on both ends. Who do I think will win this fight? I think Derek Chisora is going to win this fight. But I wouldn't rule out David Price. He's not my pick. I wouldn't be shocked if he won. My pick is Derek Chisora. But David Price, he certainly has the power. And if he uses his traits to his advantage, he can win this fight. Okay? Likewise, we know David Price's vulnerabilities. So Derek Chisora can expose those vulnerabilities. He'll win. And I think Chisora will expose them vulnerabilities. That's why I'll be picking Derek Chisora to win this fight. By stoppage. Okay? I think it'll be late. I think... This stoppage is not going to be your one-punch knockout. I don't think it's going to be that. I think it's going to be David Price capitulating and gassing again. David Price, as I've heard many people say, can grab defeat from the jaws of victory. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see something similar to the Christian Hammer fight. Where Chisora's hurt, maybe even dropped. But ultimately, those fragilities, those mental flaws in David Price will rear their ugly head again. And I think we'll see a lot of blowing. And I think that might be how we see the price downfall so that's my thoughts on this now i'll be interested to know what other people think who did they have in this fight who will they be picking where does the winner go and where does the loser go you would imagine if you're Derek chisora you will be targeting we've heard him look for alexander usek joseph parker people like that you'd imagine that if you're david price or if you lose this fight where do you go you know it's like that it's vice versa so if david price wins where does he go next if Derek Chisora loses, where does he go next? So it's really vice versa. Either way, whoever loses, I, I was saying before they were effed, but now I've hit 1,000 subscribers, so I want to be a little bit more careful what I say. So I said before the loser of this fight was effed, but maybe not. But it's a long way back for the loser of this fight. Seriously, very long way back. So those are my thoughts on this. Be interested to know what you people think down below. If you're betting anybody, I would not See what the odds are on David Price. Might be worth sticking an outside bet on him. So those are my thoughts on this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will talk to you after.